Hey you people! Zach Attack here with an ace attack line for Wednesday, August the 24th of 2011. Of course, getting prepared for my first football tailgate tomorrow night. We DJ the Wilby High School football tailgate versus Troy High. Starting at 5. Hope to see y'all there. Cannot wait if you live in the Wilby area. Check out the first game of the season. Bulldogs take off the Troy High team. Live football news with that tomorrow, and Lions tickets went on Saturday. I heard the Monday night game, Lions against the Bears, will be on the top of the tip, sold out in 45 minutes. Or as I like to call it, the night the Lions will get the asses beat by a certain D from a certain Dow, starts with a C, into the O, and the middle is a guy on national television. A team that is known as the Bears. The Bears! Get the football news out of the way. Let's get some music news out of the way. Show me. Billboard number one. Same old story. When it comes to the number one album, number one single. Katie retains for a second week for last Friday night. And number one, a Hot 100. Number one album. Kanye and Jay were made a number one. We've watched The Throne. Stays the number one. But we have a new number one in the country charts. And the song... Has the number one in it. Am I the only one by Dukes Bentley? Is your new number one country single? It's been building for a while. I like the song. Very good about being the only one who wants to have fun tonight. I feel that way when I go to Swizzle in this ball. I used to go to the DJ in Port Hill and no one would show up. And I believe only. Just in case I haven't gone back there, whatever. I, I would play that song, like the last song. Am I the only one who wants to have fun tonight? It makes sense to me to play that. Anyway, thing is, we head towards VMAs, it's crunch time. More performances and more stuff has been added. We announced yesterday, Bennett, Tony Bennett, been added to the show to a tribute clip to Amy Whitehouse. It just announced today, Beyonce is set to perform at the Video Music Awards for the first time since 2009. We'll see how good a performance is. Beyonce joins Gaga, Adele, Little Wayne, Chris Brown, Young the Giant, Bruno Mars, among others. Should be good show this Sunday at 9, 8 Central on MTV. Still looking for a host. I bet you there will not be a host this year. I bet you there won't even be a host at all. Speaking of Gaga, as I mentioned last year, she closed the show winning the Video of the Year Award. Presented by Cher. Well, apparently now, Gaga's working with Cher. They worked on a duet, The Greatest Thing, which will be released on Cher's new album. can't believe Cher's releasing a new album. The first album since Living Poop. The song, which was written by Gaga, had been a deleted outtake from both her albums, all of her albums. People have told Gaga, why not release it? Gaga felt the song didn't fit in the concept with her albums. Of course, as you know, Guy has released concept albums with Born This Way, The Fan, Big Monster. This song, The Greatest Thing, didn't fit, according to Gaga, to any of the material on any of her albums. So she kept on the cutting room floor until Shell apparently heard it. And Gaga decided to do it with Shell. Well, Shell asked her to do it together. She was very interesting. Two big icons together. If only Madonna and Gaga could do a real song, not just the SNL thing they did about two years ago. In other news, another person nominated for VMA, Justin Bieber. The really best new artist winner is up for best male video. I hope he doesn't win, but with the fans voting, he'll probably win. Anyway, he made a surprise appearance at Taylor Swift's concert last night in Staples Center. Hey, Taylor's pointing out all the stops on this tour. First she saw it from Springsteen stop, and now she performed with Justin Bieber last night. She'd been covering Baby, apparently, out of shells, and he showed up to sing Baby with her. No word on Bieber's new album. I hope it's good. He needs something new, man! He needs some new shit. Bad. I'm sick of playing Baby. It's too old for me. <laughs> there you go with that. And some sad news. Before I get to the wrestling, got some sad news. As many of you know, I am probably the biggest Michael Jackson fan on the planet. And 
it is kind of sad to hear that his former longtime manager, Frank DeLeo, had died at age 64. Nope. Ready, 64! At least he lived longer than MJ, unfortunately. I hate to say that. But of course, Fred DeLeo was the best of mine behind Michael's success in the late 80s. Started managing him late thriller areas. He like, looked at the record label. Then became MJ's manager during the thriller era, all the way through the bad era. And rejoined him right before he died earlier, like in 2009. So, uh, Best condol uh, condolences go out to Frank DeLeo's family and friends. In Michael Jackson's status, where the probably shocked by the death of Frank DeLeo, such a revered guy and such a viable force in the career of MJ, a great guide to the career of MJ, definitely helped him a lot. And a lot of hardy news this week. Big people are getting news, a lot of Gaga news lately, reporting Gaga almost every day. Big news on the Hardys lately, of course. Jeff Hardy's coming back to TNA tomorrow where they shoot the new impact for next week in Alabama. And we all know Matt Hardy got fired. Well, an insult to injury. Literally, an injury happened to Matt Hardy. Apparently, Matt Hardy has gone off to the hospital. He is currently in the emergency room. They're saying it's not that big of an injury. It's not that severe. According to several sources, he said they said he the same Matt has been rushed to a local emergency room according to TMZ Trouble Wrestling star Matt Hardy has rushed to an emergency room in North Carolina this morning after falling after falling down in his home TMZ has learned he has been feeling well but unclear what caused Matt to fall down the extent of his injuries are unknown but a family member says Hardy expected release tomorrow. Best wishes to Matt Hardy. Despite what happened to him, despite being a drug junkie, I do wish the best for him. I hope for speedy recovery. For Mr. Matt Hardy. With that in mind, that is it for another tech line. Uh, I will. I probably may or may not make an attack line tomorrow. I got a gig tomorrow. It starts at 5. So I probably may not make an attack line tomorrow. And I may or may not make a TNA Impact Wrestling review because I may end up missing it or missing a bit of it. But I, I, I will we I will post a review if I do. With that in mind, I'll see y'all later. Just been attacked by the news. Well, I'm Zach. Thank you very much. See you whenever.